Hey, Hannah's in there. <laughs> I see her comment. Now, where can I tell how many people are in there? Let's see what it looks like on my tablet. Yeah, here we go. That's how I'm going now. I think we're live. Now, how many people do I have live? Where's the little number at? There's two waiting. So, Hannah, can you hear me okay? Type in yes or no. Tell me if you can hear me if you're watching this right now. Hannah, Hannah. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, cool. You can hear me good. What's up, Derek? I don't know how many people are going to tune in, but we're going to wait till about 10 after 7. Then we'll do the, the drawing. And there's the destroyer. What's up? Thanks for jumping in here. Appreciate it. I'm not like some of these big YouTubers. I ain't got a real high class uh, studio. So, you know, this is this is as good as it gets. My studio is my dining room. But look at the view behind me from my dining room. Just kidding. I guess hey, we're gonna give some time. We let some people join. We'll cover a couple ground rules. I'll be right back. I forgot to do one thing before I do this. Now there'll be no Okie doke, we are back. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're back. I'm trying, somewhere on this screen, there's a number that tells me how many people, oh, there it is, okay. It looks like I may have eight people watching right now. Awesome. When you come into view, if you want to let yourself be known, just type in a comment. I can't see who's watching unless somebody puts in a comment. So, of course, everybody else will be able to see you too then. And as most people know, the actual broadcast on YouTube is delayed by about, I think, about 10, 15 seconds. So, when you do type in a comment, um, I won't see it right away. It'll take about 10, 15 seconds till I see it. And there's somebody else who's at our arm. I can't, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Looks like I'm on. Looks like I'm on just tuned in. Thanks for joining. I hope I didn't get your name wrong. My eyes don't work the best either, even with my uh, spectacles on. It's kind of hard for me to read my screen unless I get real close. I don't want to get too close. Then everybody just see how ugly I really am. But we got eight people still. Like I say, we're going to wait probably till about five, ten after. We'll just hang out here for a few minutes. You don't have to be watching to win the drawing, but. But like I say, I do want to cover a couple ground rules, a couple drawing rules, I guess. And then we'll jump over to the. YouTube comment picker, and we'll do the drawing. I say I apologize for having to cancel this. 
on Friday. Something came up, but no big deal. We're back today. We'll do it today. I have multiple screens going on here in case you're wondering why I keep looking to the side. I have my tablet over there. I got another laptop over there so I can kind of see what's going on better. Man, somebody jumped out already. Now I got seven. Like I say, you do not have to be watching the drawing to be selected and claim the prize. All you had to do is put a comment on my video, uh, my most memorable rockfish. If you put a comment in that video, you're in the drawing because I'm going to use a YouTube random comment picker. And it's going to pick somebody from all the comments I got on that video. I got a lot of comments on that video. I'm imagining there's going to be about 125 people in the drawing. So last time I did a drawing, I think there was only about 20. Odds were a lot better. But what are you going to do? Do, 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 do. Hopefully, everybody out there had a good Easter yesterday. I had a pretty good Easter. I had to work, but we weren't very busy, so I didn't do a whole lot of work. I got to sit back here and get comfy. I'm too old for this. <laughs> right, Hannah? Ah. Badlander just come in. How are we doing there, Badlander? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Hold on, I'm going to check my phone here. I just got a text message. An awful lot of white hair on that head of yours. You got that right. That's what having a niece will do to you. Give you a bunch of gray hair. <laughs> Anyways. I think I got started a little early today because I haven't done this for a long time. I didn't know if I knew how to do it. I had to really refresh my memory, but I was able to figure everything out, I hope. So hopefully everybody can see me okay and hear me okay. And I can do stuff like, let's see, I can do stuff like that. Cool. <laughs> let's see. Hey, it looks like Mr. Max tuned in. What's happening, Max? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Your spouse is giving me a hard time. I think you need to talk to her about that. Apparently, everybody's just going to wait and watch it later and see if they got drawn as the winner. So here's the deal. I'm going to start to cover some ground rules like I always do. Uh, anybody watching my channel a lot knows I have two beagles. Sometimes they just bark at nothing. So hopefully we will not get interrupted by beagles barking. Secondly, please on your comments, no vulgarity or severe profanity. I try to keep my channel family friendly. So... Please try to keep your comments clean. I appreciate that. And in case of a fire, the emergency exit. No, just kidding. But that's about it. You may hear some beagles bark, and please try to keep your comments somewhat clean. 
and I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to find a comfortable way to sit here in my chair so that I'm not all my back don't hurt. Looks like we still only got eight viewers. Anyways, everybody watching this can uh, feel free to smash that thumbs up while you're watching it. Give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. I guess it helps with the YouTube algorithm. But there's some other people I thought would tune in that I don't see yet. At least they haven't put in any comments. Like I say, if you tune in, you can put in a comment, say hi, whatever. Say hi, say you're ugly, Chris. Say we really hate your channel, whatever you want to say. And then I'll know you're watching because I can't actually see who's watching. I can only see the comments. I keep getting text messages on my phone. I'm going to have to ignore it. <laughs> oh. Derek just sent me a picture of what I look like. <laughs> he took a picture of the screen of my live and sent it to me. Okay, who do we got coming in here now? Rona Chef International. Good morning. Good Lord, where are you living at? It's 10 minutes after 7 at night here in Maryland. And thanks for the uh, compliment on the background, Max. That's actually a place. Those are actually my fishing poles behind me right there and right there. I don't know if you can see my arrow, but those are my fishing poles. I was fishing there one day. That's Chesapeake Bay Bridge in the background. Well, thank you, Rona Chef International. I appreciate the compliment. I'm doing pretty good today. Hopefully you are doing good as well. Yeah, I like that picture too, Max. I actually use that picture in some of my videos in part of the intro on my videos. I'll use that background picture. I actually have a pic that same picture, but I'm standing there too. And actually, that's the one I use. I think that's a better picture, of course, because it has me in it, right? <laughs> Why, thank you, Hannah Banana. And thank you for the congratulations. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm around a thousand. I don't know. I think I'm at like a thousand one hundred and twenty-five subscribers now. Okay, you guys are giving me all these compliments there, you know, like Hannah, Max. It doesn't increase your odds in the drawing, just to let you know. It's all random. So I appreciate the compliments, but it's not good. It's not going to help you win the gift, the Amazon.com gift card. But anyways, okay, so here's how this is going to work. We're going to, I don't know, my watch says it's about 10 after. Actually, my phone says about 8 after. But here's how this works. There is a website called the YouTube Comment, Random Comment Picker, and that's what I always use. That's what I did on my last um, giveaway to pick a random comment. So what it's going to do is it's going to look at all the comments that I got on that video, my most memorable rockfish. It's going to go through all those comments and it's going to randomly just select one and it's going to pop up on the screen and that's going to be the winner of the amazon.com uh, $50 gift card. Who else just joined in? N-E-R-J? Not sure exactly how to pronounce that, Nerj. Um, I don't know if I pronounced it wrong. I apologize if I did, but thanks for joining. Thanks for watching the drawing. And in about two minutes here, we're going to see who the lucky person is. Thank you again. Thank you again, Rona, for the compliment. I'm just an old retired guy that does fishing and YouTube for a living now. My favorite niece has an Amazon addiction. Well, guess what? My niece's favorite uncle, which I know is me, my niece's favorite uncle has an Amazon ad addiction too. Hey, there's Bill. What's happening, Bill? Glad to see you could make it.
Like I said, I started a little early. Like I say, we're going to wait just another minute or two here. And after we do the drawing, I'll stay on. If anybody wants to talk, ask questions, you can really get to know what an insane person I am. You can ask me questions as long as they're not difficult questions like what's the capital of Nicaragua or something. Yeah, I don't ask hard questions like that because I don't know. But I got my, whoa, got my chest peak, Chris, Yeti. Okie doke, what do we got going? Hey, there's the fish list fisherman. What's happening, sir? Glad to see you could make it. I really appreciate it. Like I say, if everybody watching wants to hit that thumbs up button, that would be cool too. What's the capital of Nicaragua? I could Google it and tell you, you know that? I could Google it real quick right here. You wouldn't even know I'm Googling it. I just opened up another window on my computer. You want one of these Yetis, where can you buy one? Well, that's a really good question because our good friend, Shelly, had this made for me. She knows a person that engraves. And they basically just took the Yeti that's normally blue and somehow he etched that on the Yeti. And she gave that to me when I retired a year and a half ago. That was part of my retirement present. Um, once again, if you really want to buy one, I guess I could check with Shelly and see who did it, if he can do another one, and how much it would cost. But it was a very, very nice present from Shelly. That was very nice of her to do that. So I don't really know what it did cost, and I don't really know who did it for. But, but anyways, okay, here, we're going to try this now. I'm about to try to go to a split screen. The first thing I need to know is to make sure if my split screen works. Somebody, anybody, let me know. You need a merch store so I can buy stickers and shirts and such. Yeah, I know. I'm, uh, I'm working on getting my merch store. My merch store is probably going to open this summer. That's my plan, at least. And I want to do, like, stickers, coffee mugs, shirts, stuff like that. So, can everybody see this screen here? And in the upper right says YouTube and giveaway settings. It says YouTube comment picker. Is that on you guys' screen? I think it is, because it's on my screen. Somebody give me a yes or a no. Because I'm gonna that way everybody can watch the drawing happen. It's only gonna take about 10 seconds. I guess a thumbs up from Derek means it's good. So here's how this works. Oh, Bill gave me a big yes. Thank you, Bill. Here's how this works. Right now, I'm going to copy the link to that video, my most memorable rockfish. I just copied the link. Now I'm over here on his YouTube giveaway settings, and I'm going to paste it in there. So there's the link in that white box. Then down here, I have filter duplicate users checked because some people gave me multiple comments. So it will filter out any duplicate comments. That way everybody's only in there once. And then we go down here. The duration is going to be 12 seconds. We're going to do the big wheel. But now I have to answer this advanced math question so that they know I am not a robot. 2 plus 9 equals 11. And then I hit get YouTube comments. And they said something went wrong. Did I really get the wrong answer or something? Let me try this again. One plus four is five. Well, that's not good. Did I? Let me try again. See, things don't always go right. Let's go back here. Let's copy the link. It should end in NC. That should do it. That's there. I got one winner. We're going to do the Wheel of Names with all colors. I may have to close it out and reopen it. I'm going to answer this hard math question again. Let me go back to that screen. Oh, Peggy Myers came in to watch. Hi, Peggy Myers. TFF, how you doing? Okay, I'm going to have to close it out again and retry it. So we're going to close it out and we're going to retry. 
YouTube. Uh, let's see. That's the only thing I know to do is to try it again. YouTube random comment picker. Okay, let's go down and try this again. There we go. I, I just closed it out and reopened it. I'm going to paste it back in there, my link from my video. We're going to do the big wheel of names because I think it's cool. There's going to be one, one winner. We're going to filter out duplicate users, people that gave me more than one comment on the same video. We're going to try and answer this very difficult math question again. E plus 6 is 14. And then when I hit get YouTube comments, okay, it worked that time. I don't know if you guys can see this down here, but it says amount of unique comments, 138. So there's 138 unique users that gave me comments. And it's going to filter through all those. And here's the big wheel. It has everybody's name on. I know you can't see it, but all 138 names are on there. So the video now is locked out for taking comments. Nobody else can put any more comments in because I just reached out and grabbed the comments. So that's it. Everybody that put a comment in to this point has entered. Everybody is on the wheel. And now all I do is click, click this little square here that says comment picker, and the wheel's going to spin around and around and around, and it's going to stop, and somebody's going to win a $50 Amazon.com gift card. Hey, dryer outdoors come in. Oh, it's possible it times out. They tend to do that. Yeah, it may have done that. I had it open previously, so I wouldn't have to find it. But, uh, yeah, and you do got to love tech these days. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, so we're good to go. Here we go. It's what? It's about 15 after 7. We're going to hit the button. There it goes. The wheel spins and spins and spins. When this wheel stops, somebody will be selected. And their name will pop up on the screen. Bam. Fishing with Big Worm. You are the winner of the Amazon.com $50 gift card. I haven't seen you in here yet. I am very familiar with you. I am subscribed to your channel. You and I have done comments back and forth quite a bit in the past. So here's how this is going to work now. Uh, I'll... I would like him to get in touch with me because I, I have to get an email address because what I do is I go on Amazon.com. I buy an e-gift card. I have it emailed to him. Like I say, that way everything's secure and I don't. they will email me back when when the person receives the, the email with the gift card attached so I know they got it. But here's what we need to do. Yeah, everybody say congratulations to Fishing with Big Worm. He hasn't put a video out for a while. I actually just had a, a discussion with him through comments about a week ago. He gave me a comment on one of my videos, and I said, dude, where have you been? It's been like three months. And he said he's been really busy, but he said he's going to get back on putting out videos again. So uh, I guess I'll throw a plug for his channel. If you haven't watched the channel, Fishing with Big Worm, I've been subscribed to him for probably about six months now. I've watched some of his videos. He watches a lot of mine. Seems like a really nice guy. He does a lot of kayak fishing, just to let you know up front. But anyways, uh, so what I'm going to do is to make sure I don't get somebody trying to rip me off and send me an email saying, hey, I'm fishing with Big Worm. Send the gift card to this email address. What happens is I, when Fishing with Big Worm sends me an email, and you all don't have to know all this, but... When he sends me an email, I'm going to email him back. And in that email is going to be a code word that I'm going to tell him to enter in a comment in one of my videos. That way, if he comments on that my video and puts that code word in there and it comes from Fishing With Big Worm, I know that email address is legitimate. Just to let you know, this is some of the stuff you got to do because there's people out there just looking to rip people off. They're trying to troll the Internet and. So anyways, um, Dryer Outdoors says, congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Chris, for doing something very cool like this. I wanted to give a rod away once. I get a 1,000 subs, but I might run into problems with overseas watchers. Um, you can do I, – I have a lot of overseas watchers, viewers, and subscribers, and I appreciate you all. Believe me. 
but it, it is difficult when it comes to awarding a prize. Um, you can probably ship a rod overseas, but I have no clue how much that would cost. You know what I mean? So you'd have to kind of factor that in because I wanted to give away like a reel or something. And I was like, or a rod or something. And next time I may, but you know, what would that cost? Like, I know for a fact, I have people in England watching me. I have people in Australia watching me. I have people in Brazil watching me. I have people in India watching me. I know for a fact, because I've, I've commented with them. What would it cost to send a fishing reel to Australia? Uh, you know, I don't know. That might be pretty expensive. <laughs> No, Max said very covert. I can, Hannah says I could work for the CIA. No, I just try to be a little bit intelligent because once again, it wouldn't surprise me if when I check my email, I have like five emails saying, yeah, I'm fishing with Big Worm. I won this, you know, and I'll be like, OK, well, here's a code word. Go to this video of mine. Give me a comment with this code word in it. And that comment better come from fishing with Big Worm because to my knowledge, only his login, his YouTube login, can make comments under his YouTube name. So, or if he has his email on his channel, in fact, I may check that right now. He may have his email attached to his YouTube channel. If he does, well, then I know, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to me, <laughs> my smiling face, and I'm going to go to YouTube real quick where you all can't see it. Ha 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 being covert again. And I'm going to go to his channel because, like I say, I am subscribed to him. And I'm going to see if he... Ha I have my email on my YouTube channel. It's on there. You can... I don't know if he does or not. Boy, he'll be happy to know he won the gift card. I really appreciate everybody uh, watching my videos, though. Give me comments and entering. Unfortunately, I don't make the kind of money to give away, like, you know, 100 <laughs> gift cards. But you know, I, I'm retired now. I don't have a lot of money. So that's just how things work, I guess. But yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that I can find. I can probably look on my tablet. Make sure I can find his uh, email address. But anyways, okay, so we're done with that. Fishing with Big Worm 1, anybody that's tuned in lately, once again, thanks for tuning in. I will stick around. You all can make fun of me. You can ask me questions. You can do whatever you want. I got to sit up a little bit. My back's starting to hurt. It's no fun getting, hey, Hanny, you see what hat I got on? I don't know if you can read it. I can't wear my Chesapeake Chris hat because see how my hands go in and out of the screen? Well, that's what my hat does. And that big hat looks real goofy when it's going in and out of the screen. So, okay, what do we got here? Uh-oh. Fishless fisherman. I hear you, Chris. I retired. Did you really? Congratulations, sir. Welcome to the club. If I ever get down there to, oh, man, is it Tennessee? I want to say it's Tennessee. If I ever get down there, I'll teach you the secret handshake. You're a member of the club now, man. Uh, oh, you like that hat, do you? I'm trying to scroll back, see if I missed any comments. There's Dryer Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in, sir. I've been watching a lot of your videos. You catch more smallmouth bass than, and I can't believe all the ice fishing you do. I do not want to go to Iowa. When I lived in Pennsylvania as a kid, I left when I was 17, 18. Right when I turned 18, I left. And a long time ago, when I was like 14, we used to go ice fishing, me and my father and some other friends. And I remember, you know, we had the manual auger, but we didn't have the big enclosure with a heater and all. We would just were out there cutting holes and putting tip ups on. And then you went over by the shore and you made a fire to try and stay warm and you drank coffee and ate hot dogs and stuff waiting for tip up flags to go. And I, I remember I used to wear my ice skates because I can ice skate. And when a flag would go, they had those ice creepers on their boots. But man, they couldn't keep up with me. When I saw a flag go, I took off on my ice skates and I was there first every time. But it seems like it doesn't get cold enough in Pennsylvania to ice fish anymore. 
I don't know. I haven't lived there for a long time, but I do go back to visit my mother and my mother-in-law, and it just doesn't seem like it gets that cold back there anymore. Bill says, I really enjoy your videos, Chris. What kind of work did you do if you don't mind sharing? I do not mind sharing. Um, for about 20 years of my life, I actually did heating and air conditioning. And then finally, I decided to get a college degree. I got a degree in mechanical engineering. And then I worked for a company called Sil Siemens Building Automation. I worked for them for seven years doing building automation. And then I actually went to work for the Smithsonian Institution in 2011. And I did, I was a building automation engineer for the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. And that's where I actually retired from. Because I did, I did about 15 years heating and air with the Department of Defense. I did four years in the military, which I had to buy back. And then I did 12 years at the Smithsonian Institution, which is also government work. So I actually retired from the federal government from the Smithsonian Institution. And I basically did HVAC and building automation, which is the control of HVAC and lights and all kinds of stuff. It's computer control of all that stuff. But that's pretty much what I did in my life. And Dryer Outdoors says, the way I see it, anyone giving something away for free has major respect for me. Fishless fishermen, we're at from Iowa. That's what it is, Iowa. Why did I think it was why did I think it was Tennessee? Because Dryer Outdoors is Iowa. That's right. Fishless Fisherman is from Iowa too. I know it's somewhere down there. I watched a lot of your videos. I know you catch a lot of sturgeons. You catch What's that fish you catch that I never even heard of before? Buffalo fish. Never heard of them before. That was so cool when I watched your video and you were catching buffalo fish. Never even heard of them before, let alone caught them. Hey, and there's Salt East Simon. You're ready for the water temps to pick back up an NC? I work on electric motors for a living, working with three and single phase controls pumps, many condenser motors. Yeah, I did a lot of that too. I used to have to pull 75 horsepower three-phase motors for big pumps and big fans. It's not fun work. I did that kind of stuff for 20 years. All my heating and air was commercial, industrial. It was all big. I didn't do any residential. It was all big stuff. But uh, Salt East Simon, you may want to watch Friday's video. That's all I'm going to say. I got a video coming out Friday. It's it's my five favorite hacks 2.0. I did a five favorite hacks about two years ago. People loved it. Got a, it, It's my most viewed video. I think it has like 50,000 views. Well, I haven't done one, so I did another one. It's coming out Friday, and it's called My Five Favorite Hacks 2.0. Uh, you, Salt East, yeah, Salt East Simon, and... Uh, <laughs> Why can I? Why, when you get old, you can't think. It's so terrible. Your girlfriend's channel, something gills. What? What? God, why can I not think of it? Mm. Anyways, oh, dryer outdoors, no problem. He said, "Thanks for your service." Wife has been in for eighteen years. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, I was just in the Air Force, and I never saw combat, so. I'm not going to sit here and I tell everybody, I'm not going to sit here and say I was one of those guys that said, I'm going to go in and fight the bad guy. No, I went in the Air Force because I didn't want to go to college. That's all there is to it. I was sick and tired of going to school. I didn't want to go to college. So I enlisted in the Air Force. And then I ended up going to college 12 years later. So things worked out, but it probably could have been easier if I just would have went to college in the first place. But, uh, you know, the military was good for me. So... And let's see, what was I trying to think of? Uh, Thrill of the Gills. Okay, back to Salt East Simon. You and Thrill of the Gills may want to watch my Friday's video. So I'm going to say about that. It is a pretty good video, but you really may want to watch it if you get my drift. Oh, what else we got going on here? Uh, I have to check it out. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Thrill of the Gills. Okay, yeah, you put it in there, but I remembered before I read your comment. I was like, yeah, watch my Friday's video. And you can tell her to watch it, too. She may she may enjoy it. Oh, what else we got going on here? Wow, you're not too... Okay, 
drier outdoors and the fishers fishermen are deciding if they can go fishing together here. I think they're seeing how close they live to each other. What what Max say? Hey, what are your thoughts on fishing with a nug? I mean a gun. <laughs> I mean fishing with a gun. I fish with a fishing pole. I throw everything back alive. I don't I don't kill fish usually. I mean every now and again. Like if we go out on a charter boat, pay like eight hundred dollars. When we go to the outer banks, we go out on a charter. Derek, he's on at least he was on here. He knows. We pay like six, eight hundred dollars to go out fishing. Yeah, then we keep fish. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't keep fish. I live on an island, man. There's like eight restaurants around here where you literally could go get fresh caught fish, and it is fresh caught. Like they will catch it and bring it in. Like and so then I don't have to clean it. I don't have to cook it. If I want fish, I just go to the restaurant and order it. I used to eat fish. I used to keep clean and eat a lot of fish, and I just got sick and tired of cleaning it and cooking it and it smells the house. Of, I don't. So, so yeah, I throw everything back, and I do go out to restaurants sometimes. I can even get fresh rockfish in restaurants around here. We have commercial rock fishermen that bring rockfish in all the time. So, so what do we got here? He bought his first gun, and he's having a boy moment. Hey, congrats there, Max. Bill said, taking a trip next week to Florida to fish with my brother a couple days. Awesome, Bill. I have never fished in Florida yet. Um, once again, I'll give you guys a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, one of the video channels I highlight this Friday is a guy from Florida. I've been watching him a long time. And, man, I'm so envious of these Florida guys that have nice weather. Like, he's out there fishing in a kayak in shorts in, like, February. And I'm like, oh, my Lord. But anyways, I'm so envious of those guys. But yeah, Bill, that's cool. Hopefully you'll get a video or two out of it, right? Maybe I'll get to see some of your fishing in Florida. I hope so. What's weird lady with the same last name? Oh, okay. Max and Hannah are having a moment here. They're... I'm sure everybody watching this has noticed you have the same last name. The Hannah's last name is the same as Max's. So, <laughs> Oh, and Soldy Simon says he's going to South Florida with her on the 6th. Oh, my God, you're going to be down there for a week. Oh, dude. I watch. I watch. I'll probably do a couple weeks where I just highlight channels from Florida. I watch so many channels from Florida. Some of them are almost all surf fishing. Some of them are almost in water kayak fishing and lake fishing and stuff. I, I could probably do at least a couple weeks just highlighting some of the Florida channels that I watch. Like I say, that's what I do in the winter when it's 20 degrees here and I don't even care to step out the door, let alone go fishing. I just log into YouTube and watch some of these Southern guys fish. Maybe a video out of Florida. I hope so, Bill. Um, every time I go somewhere to fish, I try to make a video. Sometimes it doesn't work out well. Um, I got a video out of when we went to Mexico. I got a video out of when we went to Mississippi. Uh, I'm going up to Pennsylvania next month to visit my buddy Ray. I don't know if he's on here or not. I ain't seen a comment from him. We're going up to visit him, and he's a av very avid fisherman, too. He's been on my channel, in fact. Um we're going to do some fishing and I hope to get a video out of that. So every time I go anywhere, if I do some fishing, I try to get a video out of it, but you know, if you watch some of my videos, sometimes I don't. And and you got to remember for every video of mine, you see, I probably went fishing three to four times. Like there was three other times that, yeah, I went fishing and couldn't even make a video. <laughs> That's how my fishing goes. Man, if fishing with with house was on here, he'd understand. He'd understand. We don't always catch lunkers and wall hangers, but we have a good time. They fish in shorts and a kayak, and I'm out in kayak in Iowa <laughs> with ice bibs catching carp. I know I watch some of your carp videos. You go out in a kayak and catch some pretty decent carp. I've watched some of those videos. Um, I watched a lot of your ice fishing videos too. 
uh, some of your favorite, some of your favorite videos of mine though, is when you go down to that river where there's like a dam and you just sit there and you just catch like 20 smallmouth. I don't know how you do that, but I've, I've watched, and you, you had the one that was like three parts because you caught so many fish, but yeah, I, I really like watching you catch them smallmouth because I'm originally from Pennsylvania and I did all freshwater fishing. I fished lakes. I fished the Susquehanna river. I fished creeks as a kid, even. Um, so yeah, I kind of miss freshwater fishing. Oh, a new look at lures, top water poppers. Hey, how we doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in and watching the live. It's only the third live I think I've ever done. I don't do a lot of lives. Oh, fishing with big worm came in. Fishing with big worm. Sometimes you just need to enjoy fishing and not worry about recording. I agree with that hundred percent. Um, it's hard to do though. You just want to show your fish off to the world. But if you are still on fishing with big worm, I got some good news for you. You were selected as the winner for the Amazon $50 gift card. So if you could please, sir, send me an email. I don't think I have, I don't think I can get my email up on the screen. Oh yeah, I can here. Watch this. I mean, it's on my YouTube page and everything, but I make sure I don't typo. And boom. Did I type it? There's my email address. Chesapeake Chris at gmail.com. Fishing at Big Worm. You were selected for the Amazon gift card. To make sure neither one of us gets ripped off, I need you to send an email to that email address. Then, because I may end up getting five or ten emails because there's a lot of scammers out there, I'm going to send you an email back. I was going to check your YouTube channel just to see what your email is if it's posted on there. But I'm going to send you an email back, and I'm going to put a code word in there, and I'm going to ask you to go to one of my videos and give me a comment with that code word. And if that if your comment comes into that video with that code word from you, Fishing with Big Worm, then I know the email address is legit. But if it's on your YouTube channel, I can verify it that way, too. If you just, you know, send me an email, I'll verify it. And like I say, within 48 hours here, you're going to get an email that, uh, that's got an electronic Amazon gift card attached to it. So... What else we got going on here? Dryer Outdoors says, the fishless fisherman, you got a new son as well. I'm not sure what that means. But anyways, once again, thanks for tuning in there. A new look at Lures Topwater Poppers. I don't know if I've ever, I don't remember getting a comment from you. I may have. I get a lot of comments now. I got so many videos out there. I've been doing this so long. I think I have over 350 videos, but once again, thanks for watching. If you do watch my videos, I really appreciate that. I hope people enjoy my videos. Some of them are entertaining. Some of them are somewhat educational. Some of them are just me griping about something. <laughs> like when I broke my fishing rod or when I bought a fishing reel that I absolutely hated once and I don't use it anymore. So, oh, awesome. You do. Awesome. Well, like I say, I appreciate it. I know I know a lot of people watch my videos that don't comment. And a lot of people watch my videos that don't subscribe. And once again, that's cool. I'm, I'm good with that. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. That's not what it's all about. I mean, if you want to, fine. But uh, like I say, my about two years ago, I put out my five favorite hacks. And I, I'm pretty sure it's over 50,000 views. Now, I only have about 1,100 subscribers, so obviously there's a lot of people watching that that are not subscribed, but that's cool. I mean, I hope people enjoy it. There were some good hacks on that. Like I say, this Friday's video is going to be my five favorite hacks 2.0. I'm going to put – actually, there's going to be six hacks on it. Um, you'll see it. There's going to be six hacks that I do fishing and with my kayak that I've been doing for a long time, and they work out really well, so – People seem to like hack videos, so I thought I'd put another one out. But anyways, it looks like I still got nine people on here. 
Like I say, if anybody wants to ask any more questions, I'm here to answer whatever. Uh, oh, sub. Okay. What's it say, Chris? Sorry, I have to go get a shower for supper. Hey, well, that's okay, man. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you subbing. I appreciate you watching my videos. You know I've been subbed to you for a while, and I'm going to keep watching your videos. I'm subbed to so many people. It's hard for me to cycle through and see a lot of videos. Sometimes I miss some, and sometimes I don't comment on some. But I always try to give the thumbs up. That's one thing I always try to do. As soon as I start the video, like, boom, thumbs up. But and Fishing with Big Worm said, that's awesome. Email was sent. Thank you so very much. Well, here, I got you. Oh, wait a minute. I need to do it on my other computer so I can see. Let me get my tablet out of here. What I'm going to do real quick is go get my email and I'm going to make sure it's your email. Because like I say, there, there will be people sending me emails saying, yeah, I'm fishing with Big Worm. I won the card. And like I say, there's scammers everywhere. It's so unfortunate, but that's just how life is now. So here, I'm about to log into my Gmail. I think I'm logged into my Gmail on this computer. Hold on. I thought I was. Maybe I'm not. Eh, let me just log in here. I know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm old. I'm going to play the old card. When you get old, you get weird. So let me read my Gmail here. Sign in. Chesapeake Chris. Not telling you my password, though. <laughs> And let's see if I got an email from you. Because, like I say, I will verify it right here. And then I'll. Man, I don't do Gmail that much. Okay. It says, hey, Chris, I can't believe I actually won the giveaway. That's awesome. Thanks so much. And it's, if can I say your name? In front of the. 10 people that are watching, although a lot of people may watch this. But anyways, cool. This, I, don't do, I don't do Gmail a lot. It's so confusing to me. Like if I want to reply to this right now. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I just read your email address off? I got your email address now. I'm pretty sure this is from you, but I just want to make sure. I don't want to send it to the wrong person. But, okay, I got pdkhookers at gmail.com. That's the email I just got. Is that you? Fishing with Big Worm. Oh, River Rat Fishing just came on. Thanks for tuning in, River Rat. Okay, that's you. We're all set up then. That's where it's going to go to because I do have your email right here. But anyways, awesome. Uh, River Rat Fishing, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. We did the drawing, I guess, about 20 minutes ago. Um, fishing with Big Worm was selected. Once again, this live will be posted on YouTube. If anybody wants to go back just to see who won, if you don't know who won, like if you're not tuned in now. It'll be on YouTube. You can just watch like the first 10 or 15 minutes and you'll see the drawing. I think I was, I think I was live for about 15 minutes before I did the drawing. But, uh, but yeah, uh, like I say, thanks for tuning in there, River Rat Fishing. Like I say, we did the drawing. Fishing with Big Worm got selected. I want to say you're fishing with Big Worm the last time we had comments. I said, dude, where you been? Man, you need to, you need to make some time to post more fishing videos out. Seems like you haven't put a video out for a while, but I'll keep my eyes open, believe me. And River Rat, he puts videos out. Bill puts videos out. Bill just put a video out about three days ago, two or three days ago that I watched. So, um, I think it's, I think Fishing with House was the one that gave me a comment once, and I'm sure a lot of you people know him through YouTube. Um, he said that I have kind of established a small YouTube fishing community. 
And that's really cool. And I think he's kind of right. Like, and I don't mean to forget anybody, but uh, definitely fishless fisherman, Bill Reddick, outdoors, fishing with house, fishing with Dr. Ditch Pickle, trying to think of some of the other ones, uh, River Rat. These people now all watch each other videos and they're always giving each other comments. And that that's so cool. I mean, I really like that. That's like I say, it's hard to find small channels on YouTube. I, I kind of figured out a way of how to do it. And it seems like here, this is how I did it. This is how I did it. I know this light is probably too bright. Probably, can I can I knock this light down a little bit? I don't want them fancy lights, man. I don't even know how to work it. There, is that better? Anyways, um, once you find a couple small fishing channels on YouTube, if you watch a couple, when the video's done and over there on the one side, YouTube will have these suggested videos. Once you start watching small channels, they will actually start suggesting and recommending small channels. And that's how I found a lot of you guys. Um, I'll be honest. Well, here, Fishing with Big Worm is still on here. Um, when I physically type you into YouTube, sometimes your channel still does not come up. Like I literally go up to search and I type in fishing with big worm and I get all these results for fishing with big worms, all these videos, but your channel, and I don't know how I found your channel, but if you wa if you start watching channels that like are 800 or less, you'll start seeing more. It'll start recommending ones that aren't big. I mean, like I say, the big channels I watch a lot are, well, I don't watch them a lot, but I definitely watch them. Kayak Hacks Fishing. I watch his channel. Hey Skipper. Been watching his channel for a long time. Um, Bama Beach Bum. Been watching his channel a long time. Tide Pig Patrol. Been watching their, you know, those and those guys all got like thousands and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But if you can start watching some of these smaller channels, look over when you're done with the channel, look at what comes up under recommended or suggested, either on the YouTube square thing or else over to the side. And a lot of times it will recommend other videos and you can, it won't tell you how many subscribers, this is, I, should, I need to tell you this too. It won't tell you how many subscribers they have. But when you see a video that came out seven days ago and has 42 views, you can bet your butt that's probably a smaller channel. And that's what I do. I find all these videos that have been out for a couple days and have like 20, 15, 30 views, whatever. And I click on them and it takes me to their video. And then I go to their channel. I look at what all the videos they got and I watch a couple of them. And if they're really cool, I subscribe, I give them some comments and then I go on. But yeah, you can kind of play the algorithm to try and find smaller channels. Okay. Let's see what. Russell Kovac, Kovac, I'm sorry, I probably pronounced it wrong. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we did the drawing a little bit ago and uh, Fishing with Big Worm actually was selected. Once again, this video will be on my YouTube live so anybody can go back and watch it. Um, before you go, what are you fishing for this month? Any target species? I fish for rockfish pretty much all the time. Um, the pro And they're, they're actually striped bass, but Maryland... Maryland calls them rockfish. And I think the only reason they did it is it's our it's our state fish. And they wanted it to be different. So they just took a striped bass and called it a rockfish. And they said, there, the rockfish is our state fish. I really think that's why they did it. But uh, I always fish rockfish generally out on the bay, the eastern bay, in my kayak. I catch a lot of white perch, too. But I also catch some puppy drum, some blues, some lizard fish, some croakers. Let's see, what a uh, flounder. I've caught three flounders. But the problem I have this time of year is I have a little 10 foot kayak and the waves out on the bay get really big when it gets windy and when the big boats go by. So I won't go out in the deep water. Well, when the water gets cold, the last time I was out, which is just last week, the water was only 45. Well, when the water's that cold, the rockfish all go out in the deeper water because it's warmer down there. So they're all out in 40, 50, 60 feet. Well, I won't go out there in my kayak and fish because I'll end up capsizing. So I kind of got to wait till the water gets above 50, usually above 50, 52, 54. Then they'll start coming back into the shallows and they're going to come back into the shallows here. Actually, it is April 1st, um, April, the whole month of April and the first two weeks of May in Maryland, 
You cannot target rockfish. You cannot go out and try to catch rockfish. And it's because they're decimating the rockfish population. And that's the spawn time. So they don't want you pulling females off the spawning beds. So, you know, I'll be doing some pond fishing. I want to try and target snakehead more this year. I caught one snakehead my whole life. I want to target them this year, get more. But, uh, yeah, I won't be targeting rockfish till middle of next month. Um, I'll be catching, like, say, maybe perch and some other stuff like that, like, say. But, and I'll be fishing some ponds for bass. I'm, I want to fish a river or two for catfish and snakeheads. But, unfortunately, the water didn't warm up much through the month, months, uh, through the month of March. I can usually get out rock fishing in March. But the water was only 45 degrees, so I haven't caught a rock fish yet. Oh, let's see what else we got. I'm getting out this week. Opening trout is the sixth. I'm hitting Ponder Lodge Pond with Joe from Angry Worm Fishing. I'll have a video up after. Awesome. I'll look forward to it. And he and Fishing with Big Worm also said, even I have a hard time finding my channel by searching. I know. I don't know why. It's it's so frustrating. YouTube's really a racket. I know you all know that, right? We do this for fun, but don't plan on making a living doing it unless you get like 250,000 subscribers. It's a racket. They make a ton of money off you with advertising and they don't pay you nothing for a while, for a long while. But anyways, Bill Reddick says, that's the best part of YouTube to me, making new friends and interacting with the comments. I know I enjoy that a lot too. Um, I really do. I would love to fish with some of the people that I've met on YouTube, but I don't like say most of them are in other states and I, I don't get around that much. I, I take a vacation or two every year, but we always go to the Outer Banks and that's one place we always go. Oh, and Russell said that's why I was asking the closure. Yeah, six weeks of no targeting rockfish, man. So it was only four weeks last year. It was the month of April, but they extended it two weeks because they're literally decimating the rockfish population. It's really kind of sad. And River Rat Fishing said, do you get to do any smallmouth fishing? Not at all anymore. I catch some largemouth in some ponds. But uh, we, where I live, there's really no river. So, it's, like I said, I live on an island, and I hate driving a long way <laughs> to go fishing. I don't know why. But if I wanted to drive, I could drive 40 minutes to a place and fish rivers and stuff probably. And I may have to do that some more this year. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I haven't caught smallmouth much since I left Pennsylvania back in 1982. I used to catch a lot of smallmouth in Pennsylvania in the river, Susquehanna River. Fishing Big Worm says, how do you find how do you find boaters treat you on the water while you are in a kayak? Most of them are really nice. There's always some idiots out there. Probably been drinking. I don't know. But, yeah, there's – but most of them will – I fish a lot of no wake too. There's a lot of areas I fish that's literally no wake, but even when I'm out of the no wake, some of them will definitely power down and go by me and then power back up. A lot of them do that, but some of them don't. Some of them just, and the uh, commercial crabbers, I'm out with the commercial crabbers a lot too, in the big diesel boats. Um, those guys are awesome. They're cool. They're so cool. I love the commercial crabbers. Um, they're never a problem. But yeah, most boats are most boats usually are very nice. They usually don't try to, you know, give me big wakes. So and Russell said up here, the upper Potomac is pretty good for smallies. Yeah. I used to live over, I used to live over on the other side of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, over on the western side of the bridge. And uh I don't know. I don't like going across a bridge that much. seems like all it takes is one accident or one person that wants to jump or something. And the next thing you know, you got a five hour traffic jam. So I can go to some places over here on the Eastern shore. There's the chop tank river and stuff. And they, they got some good fishing in some rivers over here on the Eastern shore. I just need to get my lazy butt and just drive. I mean, it's like, say I just COVID kind of ruined me. I don't like driving anymore. And I retired. So between retiring and COVID when we couldn't go nowhere, I kind of don't like driving anymore. So it's kind of bad, but I need to get my butt out there. Oh, Denise. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Denise? My friend Denise tuned in to see me. You did not get selected in the drawing, Denise. I'm sorry. It was uh, 
Fishing with Big Worm won the $50 gift card. We did the drawing about 10 after. But thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching all my videos and give me comments. I see all the comments. Give me. Oh, Southern Wildfin dropped in too. River Rat said, if I lived on an island, I would give smallmouth fishing in the flash. Yeah, see, that's the problem. There's like eight places I can launch my kayak within like five minutes of my house. So I have a hard time driving like 40 minutes. I just do. And and normally once once the weather breaks, I catch a lot of fish. I mean, I can catch. Well, if you want to watch the ones I, I did, a I did a highlight of all my fish I caught in 2023. No, 2022. And then I did another one for 2023. And yeah, I catch a lot of nice rockfish, you know, nice for me. They're 25, 26, 27 inches I can catch. And Southern Wildfin is on here. Hey, man, I ain't heard from you for a long time. Um, I just want to throw something out to you there, Southern Wildfin. Sometimes I get notifications that you are you did a live. Like, I, I, I can't watch them when you're doing them sometimes. But when I go to watch your video that said you went live, it's got like the three dots on it. And it, it's like the video has been removed. So I don't know if you're doing that or what. But yeah, sometimes I get notifications that you you were live like two hours ago, but it won't let me watch the video. Not from notifications, at least. So I thought that was kind of strange. And I don't know, maybe you're pulling them back off. To, I don't know, to edit or something. I don't know. But just wanted to let you know that. And Denise said, it's okay as long as I can see your videos. Well, God willing in the creeks don't rise. I'm going to keep making videos. I don't know how good they're going to be, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep making them. Uh, like I say, this Friday's video is kind of good. It's not a fishing video, unfortunately. It's And that's what you got to do sometimes when I can't get out and fish all the time. Plus, I started working a part-time job, as Denise knows. She's a good friend of mine. Um, I started working a part-time job, so that takes two, three, four days a week sometimes. And like I just worked Sunday. It was beautiful here, Easter Sunday, absolutely beautiful, and I had to work. And then Monday, today, it poured rain all day long practically, and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And then I got to work again on Wednesday, so eh, it is what it is. But I still got seven people on here. Like I say, I'll stay on here for a little bit longer. Anybody wants to ask me any questions, uh, if Fishing with Big Worm is still on here tomorrow, I will be sending you an email with your Amazon gift card. And once again, congratulations. I appreciate you watching all my stuff. I appreciate everybody that watches all my videos. Like I say, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, that's cool too, man. Enjoy the videos. I put them out there for entertainment. I hope people find them entertaining. I say ever since I retired, that's pretty much what I do for a living now. I fish and I YouTube. And uh, over the winter, I was kind of going stir crazy. So last winter, I had to go find me a part-time job just to get out of the house a couple days a week. So, so now I do work. I try to only work two days a week, but sometimes I have to work three or four. I'm, I think I'm going to work three and a half this week instead of two. So. But, yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning into my live. Like I say, it's on my third live. I'm using StreamYard again. If you can see that little icon up in the corner, I'm going to give a shout-out to Southern Wildfin on that one. I've been watching Southern Wildfin since, oh, my God, probably probably almost two years. But I used to watch his lives, and he used StreamYard. And YouTube will not let you stream through YouTube until you get 1,000 subscribers. He didn't have 1,000. I was nowhere near 1,000. But he, he's the one that told me about StreamYard on his videos, and that's why I use StreamYard. And I'm going to keep using it instead of YouTube. I really like it. I, it works good. It's very user-friendly. So every time I stream, I'm going to use StreamYard. But, yeah, thank you, uh, Southern Wildfin. He's the one that first turned me on to that. And Russell said, March in Maryland has been blocked. <laughs> yes, it has. A few days earlier, left us thinking we'd be, we'd be fishing all month. Then it got cold and rainy for the last two weeks. Tell me about it. It's rained like you wouldn't believe the whole year between the rain and the wind. Like, I just looked at the weather forecast briefly for this week and uh, all the way out to Saturday. And because I don't work Saturdays, I usually work Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursday night for like three hours. Um, but I work six hours on Sunday, six hours, six, seven hours on Sunday, six, seven hours on Wednesdays, and then three hours on Thursday evening. I don't really go in until 6.30. 
But I looked at Saturday's forecast, and they're calling for like 17 mile an hour winds. I'm here to tell you, 17 mile an hour winds in a bay of water or a body of water the size of the bay in a 10 foot paddle kayak is no fun. So my cutoff is about 10 mile an hour. If the winds are above 10, I generally don't even go out kayak fishing. I may go fish a pond from the bank or something, but the bay is just too big. Those waves get crazy and the, the wind's blowing you. Like I say, my little 10 foot kayak is not very heavy. It blows me all over the place and I'm paddling. I don't have pedal drive. I don't have a motor, but Denise said she loves my videos are very interesting. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try to make them interesting. I try to make them amusing too. My dogs used to talk a lot in my videos, <laughs> my beagles. They haven't been speaking much in my videos. I may have to have them talking in my videos some more. My dogs are pretty smart. They got a lot to say. So keep an eye on my future videos. You may see my dogs talking in there a little bit. And Southern Wildfin said it works. No problem, man. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't like once again, I now that I work some evening, because the problem is Wednesdays, Sundays, and Thursdays, I don't get home and I'm usually working in the evenings. Like I work till about seven on Sundays. Then on Wednesdays, I may not get home till after 10. Thursdays, I don't get home till 9, 30 or 10. So that right there kind of like takes three days away. So I don't, I, I don't, I haven't caught one of your lives for a short piece now. It's been a while since I caught one of your lives. But fishing with big worms and thanks again. Congrats on the thousands. Keep posting the awesome content and I'll keep watching. You got it, sir. The videos are going to keep coming. Like I say, God willing, and the creeks don't rise. And the fishing commish got in there. There's another guy I've been watching for a long time. I think I already highlighted his channel. Um, the fishing commish tuned in at my 500 subscriber drawing. I remember he tuned in, um, if I recall. Been watching him for a lot too. I, I like his. He's he's really good too. I know I already highlighted him to anybody that's probably watching this now. But yeah, the fishing commission's got. I'll tell you what. He catches a fish and he's like a five-year-old at Christmas. That's all I can say. He's like a five-year-old at Christmas coming out and seeing all them presents on our tree. He just gets so excited and I just really like that. So, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, Fishing Commission. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for watching my stuff. I'm going to keep watching your stuff. I just actually watched one of your videos today and gave you a comment. It was, uh, you were fishing in a pond in a golf course, catching crappy. I just watched that one today. Gave you a comment. And Southern Wildfin said, it's all right. I know everyone can't come into the lives. Nah, I can. I, I watched some of them afterwards, though. You, you had a live the other night, or maybe it was about a week ago. I think you really got into some catfish. And I saw it come up after you were done. Once again, I, I couldn't watch it that night, but I can go back and watch them. So they come up on my feeds and on my uh, suggestions and all that. Well, I think I got notifications turned on for you, too, so. Well, I know I do, because like I say, sometimes when I get notifications and I go to click on it and then I go, OK, click on that video and it, it won't let me watch it for some reason. I don't know why. So then I got to go to your channel and look you up, which is not a big deal. But I mean, it's just YouTube does some stuff that just doesn't make sense. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, and there's Fishing with H. I know I highlighted his channel, too. Who won? Fishing with Big Worm won. We did the drawing, I don't know, almost an hour ago. Yep. You, if you want to actually see the drawing, this will be on YouTube on my lives. You can go back and watch it. I think I was live for about 15 minutes before we did the drawing. But you can go back and actually see the drawing if you want. But thanks for watching my stuff. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for entering the contest. There was 138 entries, I think. Um, this is the most I ever had. So every time I do a contest, I learn a little something. I learned a little something this time my next contest will be done differently and it, it will really, it, it will really benefit people that have followed me for a long time and subbed to me for a long time too. Um, anybody will be able to enter, but it will be of better benefit to my people that have been watching me for, you know, cause I know I got viewers out there have been watching me for a year and a half. Um, I know. And Christine, Giannotti? 
Did I get that right? If I didn't, I'm, I apologize. I'm horrible with names. But anyways, at Angry Worm Fishing. Is that, that, is that your channel, Angry Worm Fishing? I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Uh, fishing with Big Worm said he was going to go fishing with somebody. Is that who he said he was going to go fishing with? I'm scrolling back right now. He said he was going to go fishing. Yeah, he said he was going to fish with Joe from Angry Worm Fishing. I'll have to check your channel out. I don't know if I've checked it out or not. I may have. And Fishing with H said, thanks for the channel. Shout out again. Not a problem, man. I like your channel. I'm still looking forward to these John Boat videos. Huh? We were promised John Boat videos. <laughs> so you ever get them John Boat videos out there? I'm looking forward to them. I want to see these videos. And then Christine said, nice job. That's my hubby's channel. Yes, they fish together. Awesome. I'll check them out. I'm, I may have already checked them out. I'll have to check. Like I say, I'm, sub I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. But there's probably about 40 that are the, I would call my core channels. Those are the ones that I watch the most. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of channels that I, I don't watch every video they put out. But every now and again, I'm like, huh, that seems like a good video. I'm going to watch that one. So um, there just isn't enough time in the day. I wish I had enough time in the day to watch all the channels that I want to watch. Even retired, working two to three days a week. There's just not enough time in the day. I wish there was. And Bill Reddick said, sometimes I have three or four buddies doing lives at the same time and I have one device. Man, that sounds like, let's see, what, what do we call that? Me and my wife call that. That sounds like a first world problem, Bill. You have three or four buddies doing lives at the same time and you only have one device. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I have multiple devices, but I, I can only watch one at one time. My my attention span isn't that good. So um, Fishing with H said he's going to take his John Boat out tomorrow. We'll be making a video on the lake. Cool, dude. I will definitely watch it. He said it's spring break, so I'll have a few. That's awesome. Southern Wildfin, got to go. Catch you on the next. Keep on catching fish. Hey, thanks for tuning in, Southern Wildfin. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching back up with you and Local 252. I'll be um, – I haven't – I think I watched one of 252's videos two weeks ago. I Like I said, I'll be, I'll be catching back up with both you and 252. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. And Fishing Commission wants to know what part of Florida Bill is fishing. I don't know. I, I'd like to fish any part of Florida myself. I mean, there's a lot of good surf fishing down there. I know I watch videos, and I remember when I was a kid fishing with my father in Pennsylvania, all the big lunker largemouth bass were in Florida. Like, these guys were catching huge largemouth bass down there in Florida. I'm like, okay, Denise. Denise said, have a good night. You too, girl. Thanks for Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Like I say, I got, what's today, Monday? Well, I got a short video, I think, coming out tomorrow, and then I got a longer video coming out Friday. And this Friday's video, like I say, it's not fishing, it's a hack video, but I only do a hack video every year or two, so. Later on, Southern Wildfin, appreciate you tuning in. I say I'll catch up with some of your videos, definitely. I got to get some time here. I got to quit working so much. You're not supposed to work as much when you're retired. So. Oh, thirsty. Oh, that's good stuff. Wow, we still got 10 people watching, I think. Yeah, Fishing Commission, you went to Florida. You took your kayaks. I watched the videos. Um, You took your kayaks down to Florida and fished. Um, I remember watching them videos. You had at least two videos, I think. Because I watched the videos where you made the racks to transport your kayaks down there, too. And Russell says he's signing off. Congrats on the thousands. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. I would have never got there without all my viewers and all my subscribers. You people out there on YouTube, you guys are the ones that make it happen. So I really appreciate you guys. But 
I don't know when I'm getting fishing again. Like I say, it rained today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I don't know about Wednesday. I don't have, I have to leave for work at 1.30 on Wednesday. So if it's nice in the morning, I can get out. I may have to try and get out in the morning, but I haven't looked to see if it's going to rain or if it's going to be super windy. I it seems like it's been windy all year. And Christine said, enjoy your evening. Congrats again. And definitely check out Angry Worm Fishing and Fishing with Big Worm. Fish on. Not a problem. I've been subscribed to Fishing with Big Worm for probably six months now. I've been watching his stuff. He hasn't put nothing out for a few months, though. And I, I mentioned that to him. I'm like, dude, what happened to you? I thought you fell off, you know, face of the planet. But, yeah, I'll check out Angry Worm Fishing. I will definitely check that out. In fact, I wonder. Eh, I'll do it later. What time is it? 10 after 8. Good Lord. Old man like me, it's getting getting to be my bedtime almost. We're down to seven people. We're going to be tuning off here late or shortly probably. So, like I say, anybody wants to ask me anything else, that's fine. Um, I actually have videos out there that tell people a lot about me. I got videos out there about my beagles. I got videos out there about my father. Um, I did a video about my father on Father's Day. I have videos out there where I went fishing with my mother, um, you know, some of my friends, everybody knows probably I go to the Outer Banks every year. Usually we've been doing that for years. We, we go to the Caribbean every year, but I've only fished down there a couple of times. I'm going to start trying to fish every time I go down there. So we're going down there this year and hopefully I'll be able to do some fishing and hopefully I'll be able to get a video or two out of it. Yeah, fishing commission said that was a learning experience with the rack. Next time using the trailer. Yeah. Driving that far, I would definitely use a trailer. I have a little four by eight all aluminum utility trailer. Everything's aluminum except the leaf springs and the axle. And I'm gonna put some three inch PVC on and turn it into a kayak trailer. I haven't done it yet. Um, that way I won't always have to put it in the back of my truck. But like I say, my kayak's pretty light. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty easy to get in the bed of my truck, but I got a trailer. I'm going to turn into a kayak trailer. I'm sure when I do, I'll make a video on it. That'll be on my channel. I do videos on everything. Fish Commissioner said, have a good one, Chris. Appreciate the encouragement with my channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Hey, thanks for tuning in, sir. Thanks for being a supporter. I really do appreciate it. River Rat said about the same thing. Have a great night, Chris. Congratulations on 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, sir. You are one of the 1,000 that made it possible. So I really appreciate you guys. Okie doke, we're down to four now. I don't know who they are, but I think we're going to probably sign off and call it quits. We've been live for an hour and 17 minutes. Once again, Fishing with Big Worm. He was the big winner of the $50 Amazon.com gift card. If you want to watch any of this video at a later date, it will be on my YouTube channel under my Lives tab. It probably will be available in about 10 minutes after I close out, I think. But yeah, everybody, thanks for tuning in. This was awesome. There'll be another giveaway sometime. It may be a little different, but I'm going to keep making videos. Like I say, God willing, and the creeks don't rise, I'm going to keep making videos. So, But it looks like Bill's still on here. It looks like Fishing Commission still on here, and it says there's one other person. Well, Fishing Commission, if you're still on here, Bill, if you're still on here, I think about everybody else tuned out. I'm going to tune out. Once again, can't thank you guys enough. And I will be checking out your videos and your channels. So I'll give you my usual ending. I'll see you on the next video. Chesapeake Chris is out.